Hello, I'm the program counter. I hold the address of the next instruction. And now I'm going to pass it to the MAR. Thank you. I am MAR, Memory Address Register. I always hold the address and I pass the content of the address to MDR. Hi, I'm MDR. I am Memory Data Register. I hold the instruction that, is, that needs to be carried out and the data. And now I'm passing it to CIR. Hi, I'm CIR, Current Instruction Register, and I hold the instruction which we're going to carry out. That's a fetch cycle complete for this instruction. And now the program counter increments by one. Now, we need to decode this instruction input, so we have to wait for the user to input. Oh, look, oh, look the user yeah. inputted. There we go. We got Hello. five. I'm the accumulator. I store the results of what is in process and the com computer. And then the gateway between the process and the rest of the computer. Now I have the address of the next instruction and I'll pass it on to the MAR. Thank you. So the content of the address is passed to MTR. Thank you. Now here you go, CR. Thank you. Now we need to well We've done the fetch for this instruction, and so the program counter increments up by one again. Now we need to decode this instruction. Store x, so we need to store whatever's in the accumulator to x, which will be the first free space in memory. Oh, where is x? Ah, oh, I get it. The address of X is 108. It's passed from the accumulator into X. So then the program counter passes the address of the next instruction again to the MAR. And its content is passed to MDR. Thank you. And this is not passed to CIR. And now that's the fetch of that instruction done. And the program counter increments up by one again. Okay, now we need to wait for input again from the user. The input from the user is stored in the accumulator. So then I pass on the next instruction, the address of the next instruction to the MAR. Thank you. And its content is passed again to MDR. Thank you. And now this is passed to CIR. Thank you. And now we've completed the fetch cycle of that instruction. And the program counter increments up by one again. Now we need to decode this instruction. Add x. So we add whatever's in the accumulator to whatever's in x. So. 6 is in the accumulator, and we have 5 stored in X. 5 plus 6 is 11. So I pass on the address of the next instruction to the MAR. And its content is passed to MDR. Thank you. And now this instruction is passed to CIR. And now we need to output whatever's in the accumulator. Oh look, there we go. Yay! Eleven. Eleven. Job well done, guys. Oh, oh, good job. Well done. Team That's register. Great. Woo! Yes. Yeah. Ooh.